Next on the Jury Camcorder Network, a young businessman struggles with unsavory eating habits on the road. Will he discover Jury's hot food and cold beverages before it's too late? Stay tuned and find out. My name is Daniel Pintar, and I'm addicted to convenience store suppers. About three and a half years ago, you could say I was living the dream. Right out of school, I got a great job. I married my college sweetheart, bought a few sweater vests. I even joined a local athletic club, and I tried out racquetball, I tried out handball. I was moving up in my company pretty fast too, traveling all over the country ritzy, fancy places, sealing deals, meeting clients, charming people who had no business being charmed just because I felt like I could. But Daniel's high society lifestyle had a catch. Hidden behind all of the glamour, the success, the company Impala with leather seats and satellite radio, hidden behind all of it was a scant company per diem. I'm not one to complain, I promise you, but I was almost always going out of pocket just to fit in, just to, I mean, just to eat like a normal person. It's hard looking back, but to save cash on the road, I started eating at nearby gas stations. We really wanted to save up for a Himalayan. Pretty soon, Daniel will be eating at filling stations for every out-of-town meal. Yeah, so I figured I could buy a 99-cent bag of cheddar popcorn, a hamburger, maybe an orange soda, a candy bar, maybe a granola candy bar where there's two granola bars in the packaging. Um, I figured I could buy those things and be okay. I figured I'd still have some leftover per diem. But what Daniel had in per diem, he was losing in pride. It was fine at first, but it started my headlong fall into the junk food abyss. I started being short with my wife on the phone. My energy was down. I, I had a mild case of adult acne. Sometimes my cheesy puff bag would even talk back to me and it'd say really ruthless things like, Daniel, you'll never be able to afford a Himalayan. I mean, it got to the point when even when Daniel was in town, he was going on mysterious errands late at night. I was just so naive. He would come home and reek of nacho cheese powder, but I didn't have the courage to confront him. It wasn't until I bought 12 beef jerky sticks that I realized I had a problem. I ran out of the gas station. I didn't even get my 23 cents changed. So I sat my wife down and I, I told her what was going on. I sat my boss down, which no offense to my wife, but that was probably harder. And I was expecting brutality, but they didn't judge me. They, they did the exact opposite. They put me on a, on a program at Drury Hotels. I could stay at Drury, I could save my per diem, and I could eat Drury's free food. I could drink Drury's cold drinks at their 5.30 kickback. You wouldn't believe how different the world looks when you're replacing $2 cellophane wrapped pastry tarts with free chicken tenders, salad, and baked potatoes. $3 petrified taco sticks with free egg rolls and charbroil meatballs. $4 guzzleberry energy drinks with $0 mixed drinks. I'll be honest, Jury's 5.30 kickback changed my life. I, I get to use my per diem on what I want, and I let Jury do the cooking. So I guess you could say, despite all we've been through, things are good. Things are very good. If you or someone you know is struggling with bad eating habits on the road, visit 530kickback.com. 